Extraterrestrial alien life exists on Mars, SETI scientist claims. Plans for the first sustainable city on Mars have already been revealed, and along with that, SETI Institute has also claimed that alien life exists on Mars. International architecture studio Abibdo, Abibo has submitted a design for more than five Martian cities, including the space capital of Nuwa, Nua will actually act as a functional city and will house a large number of offices, homes, and green areas. The capital is expected to be built near a cliff to protect the inhabitants from any radiation or atmospheric pressure. And according to Euronews reports, oxygen is to be produced largely by plants. Food will be 90% plant-based and energy will be generated from solar panels. CO2 and water will be readily available on the planet's surface. Alfredo Munoz, founder of Abibo Architecture Studio, said they had to analyze a lot of data and work with scientists to try to understand what circumstances the settlers were facing. And one of the chain challenges is gravity, which is only a third of that that we have on Earth. Abibo, together with the Mars Society and SO Network, Network has developed a fully scientifically researched design for the City of Mars project focused on sustainability. And all things considered, construction can begin as early as the year 2054, which means that Mars will receive its first community by the year 2100. What no one has taken into account, however, is that such a community could have some unexpected neighbors. Alien life existing on Mars? In an article published by the scientific journal Nature Astronomy, Dr. Natalie Cabrol, director of the Carl Sagan Research Center at the SETI Institute, challenges the assumptions about the possibility of modern life on Mars by the scientific community. While the Perseverance rover is traveling in search of signs of extraterrestrial life in the 3.7 billion year old Jezero crater, Dr. Cabral theorizes that not only could life be present on Mars today, but it could also be very widespread and accessible than previously believed. Their findings are based on years of exploration of the first Mars analogs in extreme environments in the Chilean highlands and the Andes funded by NASA's Institute of Astrobiology. In extreme environments, while water is an essential condition, it's far from sufficient, which matters the most, says Dr. Cabral. And Dr. Cabral further said that we can walk in the same landscape for miles and find nothing. So maybe because the slopes change by a fraction of a degree, the texture or mineralogy of the soil is different because there's more protection against UV rays and suddenly life is here. What matters in external worlds to find life in extreme worlds to find life is to understand the patterns resulting from these interactions. Following the water is good and following patterns is better, she said. This interaction unlocks the distribution and abundance of life in those landscapes that does not necessarily make it easier to find as the latest harbors for microbes in extreme environments can be at the micro or nano scale within the cracks of the crystals. On the other hand, observations made on terrestrial analogs suggest that these interactions considerably expand the potential territory for modern life on Mars and could bring it closer to the surface than was long theorized. If Mars still harbors life today, which Dr. Cabral believes to find it when we take the approach of Mars as a biosphere, as such the distribution and abundance of its microbial habitat are closely related not only to where life could theoretically survive today, but also where it was able to disperse and adapt throughout the planet's history. And the keys of this dispersion are found in early geological times. Before Noah's transition, 3.7 or 3.5 billion years ago, rivers, oceans, and wind dust storms would have carried him all to all parts of the planet. Importantly, dispersal mechanisms still exist today and connect the deep interior to the subsurface, said Dr. Cabral. But a biosphere cannot function without an engine. The director of the Carl Sagan Research Center proposed that the engine to sustain modern life on Mars still exists, that it's more than 4 billion years old. 
and that to date has been lost from sight underground. If this is correct, these observations may modify our definition of what we call special regions to include the interaction of extreme environmental factors as a critical element, one that potentially expands their distribution substantially and could make us rethink how to address them. The problem here is that we do not yet have global environmental data at a scale and resolution that are important for understanding modern microbial habitability on Mars. And as humans exploration, uh, human exploration gives us a deadline to receive pristine samples, Dr. Cabral suggests options regarding the search for existing life, including the type of missions that could meet critical objectives for astrobiology, human exploration, and planetary protection. And if so, and life is present on the red planet, then many of the NASA images showing strange creatures could be real. Then the Martian colonists will be forced to deal with alien life on Mars, which could have evolved in caves. So what kind of creatures will the colonists meet on Mars? And this is on Infinite Explorers by Anne Srivastava. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.